this week's Current President's Corner. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today and what my current column is about um, is some takeaways that I got from the pres pres presidential debate. Um, I'm sure most of you were watching it, if not all of you that are watching this video. Um, and I had some really great takeaways from it. I think sometimes we forget that when we're engaged in passionate conversation, sometimes we lose the basic communication skills. And that's really what my column covers this week. And one of them is something as simple as if you can't say something nice, don't say anything. You know, if we're in a negotiation with a potential client, the last thing we want to do is throw stones um, and say something that would offend the person and ultimately break up the relationship. So when when you have that that discussion um, and you might not agree or uh, or you're disparaging perhaps a competitor, that's really not going to set you up for success. So think about those things. Um, something else is something as basic as facial expressions. I think we've all been to a meeting or even been sitting around the dinner dinner table or something. Someone will roll their eyes or sigh or smile awkwardly. So I think it's really important for us to acknowledge that and say, hey, you know, I noticed you rolled your eyes. Is there something that perhaps I didn't communicate well because I'd like to clarify? I think that that's really important. You know, this is all about having a, an adult discussion. And, you know, we think about kids that, that we want to be role models for. So I think the most important thing is how are we communicating with each other um, really speaks to how we communicate in general and the kind of relationships that we build. And the last one that I want to give you, there are five, but I'm just going to provide you with three, uh, are own your mistakes. Uh, you know, I, I think that for those of us that are perfectionists, I won't mention any names, uh, it's really hard to admit your mistakes. But I was always taught, own your mistake, admit it, and then move on. And I think um, as an adult, that's a really important thing to do because there's nothing to me that builds trust in someone who can humbly admit their mistakes. Uh, so those are just a few things that I talk about in my current column. So you can uh, read the rest and learn more. And don't forget to check the calendar um, on naperville.net for some upcoming really great events. Have a great week.